I'm not able to show you a demo because the Wi-Fi doesn't really play, but I'm going to show you a few screenshots and explain to you what happened here. So in, uh, in Azure, we have a service called, uh, we have a suite of services really called Cognitive Services, and we have one service in particular called Custom Vision. This service can take some pictures and recognize what is on the picture. So it can do either object detection, where we say, okay, I see a cup in this location, or it can do classification, where we say, I'm going to input a number of pictures and it's going to tell me which ones are bananas, which ones are apples, which ones are oranges, for example. So to do that, you go in the portal, you create a project, and after that you configure the project. And those are pre-trained projects, but you can also customize the training. So two, three years ago, I thought to myself, I'm going to do one like that with fruits. That's a great idea, and then I'm going to build a client application to demonstrate that, okay, now I'm going to take a picture of a fruit and it's going to tell me what it is. So in my demo, I train, you know, the model with apples and oranges. I submit a test picture of an orange, it tells me that's an orange, great. Then I submit a banana, and of course the system doesn't know what the banana is, right? So it's going to say, it's not going to say it's neither an apple nor an orange, because that's not how AI works. It's going to tell me, I think it's maybe a banana, uh, maybe it's an apple, sorry, or maybe it's an orange. He, he was like 10% sure it was an apple and 5% and sure it was an orange. Because it, it's just learning from the data that I give, that I give to, the, to the training set, okay? So then after that, I train the model with bananas. And then I show a picture of a real banana, and, and those training pictures, I downloaded them from the internet. And so this is what happened. You see, I'm going to show you the pictures that I used. So I used pictures like that as a training. I went online, and then I downloaded pictures of bananas. So this is one, this is another one, this is another one. And then I showed to the system a picture of a real banana, which I had in my hand, which looks very much like that. And it told me, it thinks it's a banana, but it was only like 50% sure. Because what's happening here, those bananas do not exist in nature. <laughs> I call them photoshopped bananas. Okay? Somebody went, took a picture of real bananas and removed all the black spots and all that. Because we have a bias in our society that if a banana has black spots, it's less nice, it's less perfect. All right? So basically, this is a real banana. The, those are Photoshop bananas, those are model bananas, all right? And so basically what happened is that my model was biased. I was training my model with data which was reflecting the bias of our society saying that bananas need to be perfect, all right? So to fix that, I went back into my training uh, portal and then I took two pictures of a real banana and just two pictures were enough, uploaded, retrained, and then it was 90% sure or 95% sure that it was indeed a banana. So I had basically resampled my training data set, if you want, I had added you know, new data which kind of fixed the bias. All right? So the good thing with the bananas is that the bananas are not going to sue me, they are not going to care, all right? But of course, when the bias applies to human society, then we are really having an issue.